lead code substrings of size 3 with distinct characters. So in this problem, it's a very simple one. You just need to go through the string and look at how many substrings of length 3 there are so that the characters are distinct. So for example, this one is a good substring, but this, isn't, this one isn't because it has two Z. And I really believe that in a contest, what you should do here is you should definitely go for the simpler ap approach, even if it isn't really optimal. I mean, technically, the time complexity is the same between this and the sliding window approach, but the sliding window approach is going to be faster by a constant factor. So the optimal way would just, would just be keep a sliding window of length 3 and at every step pop the first character of the sliding window and add the next one. So at the beginning we would have this sliding window and then it would become like this by removing the first one and adding the next one. And then it would, would become like this, remove the first, add the next and so on. And at every step you add one to your result if the sliding window has only distinct characters. And you can check that by having a set of the characters. But truly in a contest what you should do is I think you should just go for the simpler approach. And so what I did is I just did the naive two nested loops. So you just have your result variable which is going to be what you return later on. And then you loop through all of the indices of the string and leave room for two more characters because you need a window of three characters. So you need to leave room for two further characters other than the one that you are already on. And then inside we just create a set and this is going to be the set that keeps all of the characters of our window. And then we have a nested loop that just takes three element and takes them three characters of the string and puts them in the set like this. Okay, and at the end of this nested loop, if the set size is 3, then it means that all of the characters were distinct. And so we can add 1 to our result. And so we just do that like this. Increment result by 1 if the set size is 3. And that's it, so I'll submit the solution to show that it works. And the time complexity is technically O of n, and space complexity is O of 1. So technically it's an optimal solution, but truly the best solution would be a sliding window so that you don't have a nested loop and it would be faster by a constant factor. Thank you and bye.